Hey, Tim Alden here in Burns, Oregon again. We're ready to do our second of the three hat patch patterns today. And we got our pattern traced on already. We, we traced it on before we cut it with the easy border, just so in these areas where it's gonna jump out of the border, we could just be cautious of that. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our swivel knife work on this. We'll start with the flower. Okay, now that we got all our swivel knife work done, we're gonna go ahead and go to work with our beveler. Start out with our number one Berry King check beveler.
Okay, now that we got most of our beveling done here, we're going to jump up and do all of our straight lines around our border. We'll jump up to our number three, check beveler. So we left this spot open here. That way you can put your maker's mark stamp in there if you like, or somebody's brand or initials. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and lift in this little turn back here. Lift in this other turn back and then we'll take care of our background first. So now we can uh, background this. Just going to kind of squeak these in. This is the number 35 five seed bar grounder. Okay, we didn't draw this in there, but we're just going to uh, double this here, make a little bit of separation in that first little leaf there, sticker, a little bit of background. Smooth thumbprint and just kind of work out any of those little spots where I hit my bar, bar grounder by tipping it off. Okay, so now we're going to do our shading with our thumbprint. And so I'll start out rolling out of this little turn back and I like to push that line out and kind of bring it around there into that cut line just kind of softens things makes a nice transition I'm 
going to use our narrow side here in this little turn back. Taper off there. So now we're going to use our number one scalloped and lined veiner. And so I'm going to do one right in the corner there. And then I'm just going to go over this edge. I'm going to keep a pretty steep angle. You don't want it to be square with the edge of this structure. You want to be pretty angled and then I would have rolled all the way around if it was showing so I'm going to uh, continue on like it spiraled out of there just kind of going over that edge I kind of do a couple right in there Do a couple of little mule's feet. So we're going to go ahead and do our leaf next. We're going to use our number one vertical lined thumbprint and we're going to hold that same angle you'll see on leaves in nature. It's never square to that line. We want an angle on that line. And if you're going to err to either side, more angle is better than a straight angle. Do both sides. And then we'll go back to our, our number one scallop and lined veiner. So I'm going to keep that same angle going forward, but I'm using the reverse curve. And I want to try something a little different on this little little pedal. I'm going to go back to that smooth thumbprint. I'm just going to put a couple little waves in here. Just give it a little different look than I typically do. So now we have our flower to shade. And so we got a new little flower center. It's Berry King Cluster number two. And we'll have this up on the website. So pretty excited about it. So we're just gonna start by just marking that. And then we're gonna come in and shade with our vertical lined thumbprint. We just want to creep up on those little seeds a little bit. So remember to leave a little bit on 
the outside of each pedal. That way we can create some high and low depth. So we're going to come back and sink our flower center now. Wasn't quite where we wanted it. So you got to be really careful if you try to double tap this. Um, make sure that it's lined up. I usually twist side to side and make sure it's good and grippy. I just didn't get it all the way on this one side, so oh, that's a little better. So we'll go ahead and get these dominant pedals with our smooth number two vayner. A little bit of depth there. And we're ready for our swivel knife work. So I'll just put a little hook there, one falling up behind it. Shading lines coming out from under that turn back. Cross hatch those. Do the same thing on this little turn back here. Go ahead and do our flower. Radiating lines coming out of here. A little arc to them, tapering off on each side of the center. Then we're going to go ahead and cross hatch these tapering on our center line. There we are. Well, that's a fun little pattern to carve out. And like I said, you can put a brand or initials or your maker's mark stamp up here in this little corner. And it's just a fun little project. It's great practice. Hope you like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our Facebook and Instagram page. Or if you're interested in a class, you can go to our website, leathercraftingschool.com and check out a class schedule. Thanks and have a great day.